Thank you, Vikas. I think uh, that was a lot for me, but uh, thank you very much. Appreciate the kind words. And again, a big round of applause for this 2014 IMRC convention. What a start. And what thank to Poonam Bhutala, Mahesh Radi, and Amit Somani. Outstanding, all the work which you have done for the entire convention and the preparation. Thank you very much. Jai Shri Krishna. Uh, respective Vinoji Ajmeram, Anurag Bajaj, Ramesh Ji Chandak, Govindji Chandak, Jugalji Malani, Ram Gopal Ji Mundra, Sushma Ji Palod, Keshavlal Ji Rathi, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my entire team, I would like to welcome you all to the 7th International Maheshwari Rajasthani Convention. It takes time, effort, energy, and most importantly, the commitment. And I thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules, travel the distance, and be a part of this journey and be involved with the community. I'm deeply honored and humbled to be standing before you today. The room is filled with my idols, mentors, and role models. First, my parents, Dr. Mrs. Saroj Bajaj and Raj Bhushan Bajaj, active social workers based in Hyderabad, both of whom have devoted their life to the cause of social work. Many of you may be aware, my mother was the first secretary of the Akal Bharat Varshya Mahila Sangatan and is now associated with multiple charitable organizations, including running a girls' college for the underprivileged. My father is a member of the Jaju Trust and has always inspired me by reminding the family, history, roots we come from. My grandfather, late Sri Vrindavan Das Bajaj, was a freedom fighter and founder secretary of Maheshwari Mahasabha. My elder sister, Archana Maheshwari, founded Rajasthani Association of Michigan, and my brother Anurag Bajaj, prominent businessman, philanthropist, and our elite platinum sponsor for this convention. With such role models, <laughs> with such role models, I hope to do my small part in serving the community. A seed was planted in the form of MMA about 30 years ago within the four walls of a living room which has now mushroomed into an organization of approximately 450 plus life members and about 1,200 plus members in total. Our founding fathers, including my father-in-law, Dr. Pushatam Bhangri of New York, and first president of MMNA, when creating the organization, had a vision of maintaining our rich heritage, culture, and family values. This vision by far has not only been met, but exceeded through the growth of the organization over the years, thanks to the tireless efforts by all of you in helping maintain this through your own chapters, whether it was in the form of celebrating Gangor, Tej, Diwali, or any other such event which pulled the community together. More importantly, the same values and sense of community have been passed on to the younger generation, and this is due to the outstanding work done by past presidents, Sri Balkashanji Kacholia, Dwarka Das Taparia, Sri Naranji Chandak, Dr. Seema Rati, Kishore Loya, their NECs and their board, and especially Prabhulalji Rati, who has dedicated his life to the service of the community. It is our commitment to build on the strong foundation in place and try to address the changing needs of the community. When taking office in 2013, our team had a commitment on a 10-point initiative. One, continue supporting our youth through race. Two, expand Saki across all chapters. Three, expanding database for matrimonial alliances. Four, look into the needs of retiring aging parents. Five, continue to provide financial assistance to needy Maheshwari students. Six, identify and support charitable causes which we all could associate with both in US and India. Seven, collaborate with Maheshwari organizations around the globe, especially ABMM in India. Eight, MMA website enhancement. Nine, initiate quarterly newsletter, 10, have a drive to increase life membership. And I'm proud to say, we are of the 10, we are able to accomplish nine of them, and 10 is in the works. <clears throat> on taking office, our first objective was to get a pulse on the voice of the community. The first survey on Samvad was conducted under the leadership of Jitendra Ji Muchal and Pradeep Tapadia. Jitendra Ji Muchal is the grandson of late Harikishan Ji Muchal, president of Maheshwari Mahasabha. To take it further and have a more direct interaction with the community, we initiated MMNA roadshows. Primary purpose was to travel across all the chapters, interact with the local communities, share some of the initiatives being led by MMNA, and more importantly, 
listen to their issues, concerns, as it relates to promoting a sense of involvement and engagement. We had a very successful interface with the local community in Chicago as part of the Midwest chapter during the Memorial Day last year, and members from the board, NEC, and convention team took the time to travel, interface, and share our initiatives. Similarly, we had roadshows in the New England chapter, and during the July 4th weekend, we were able to participate in the Mideast chapter. Lataji and Padam Banshiri hosted the meeting at their house, and we had a very good representation for the community. We then took the MMNA Roadshow to Cleveland, where it was graciously hosted by Ranjan and Neelam Jakatia. During fall, we took our roadshow to Canada to pass it, participate in the local picnic hosted by the President Rajesh Rati. There has been a lot of activity with the individual chapters too. The West Coast chapter, under the leadership of Dave G. Maheshwari and Geeta G. Mundra, had a mill in 2013 at Pismo Beach, California. The two-day event was attended by about 150 attendees. The main purpose of the Millen was to get community members of both the North and South chapters together and get to know each other. It surely was mission accomplished, with everyone wanting to have more of such events planned. The Midwest chapter had a combined picnic with ARA, the Association of Rajasthanis in America. So basically, this was essentially a trying to get a knowledge and the feel from the pulse of the community, and that's how me and my team are able to work through it. The future of any organization lies in the hands of the youth, and I can proudly say our youth is more than ready to take charge. Rajasthani Abroad Youth Samaj, under the leadership of Sarish Kasar, Roli, Kavita, had a very successful reunion in Chicago during the Memorial Day weekend, and it was attended by about 64 youth members across the nation. Special thanks to Omji and, Ma Omji and Manju Mandhana for hosting a special lunch of Dal Bati Churma for that, all the members to celebrate the birthday of our, one of our very own, Manoj Rati. The entire race team has been doing a commendable job, providing great support towards the planning of the 2014 IMRC, and are now looking forward to planning the 2015 reunion get-together. I strongly believe women are the pillars of any family, and hence the critical role Sakis play within the community. Sunita Ji Maheshwari, Chairperson of Sakis has taken it to new levels under her leadership. She and her team have harnessed the power of social media, Facebook, to promote their activities and recently updated their web page to update details of Vidhi Vidhan on various festivals, including Tej. Sunitya Ji and her team have also been instrumental in initiating nationwide Annadan food drive for local shelters in the communities twice a year, once during spring and once during winter. We received an overwhelming response from the chapters, and this got the children involved too for serving the local homeless shelters in both cash and kind. Earlier this morning, as part of the Seva, our community came together, including our youth, and assembled 500 lunch bags for the needy in the local community. We also generously donated clothes and additional food items for the local food pantry. Besides Anadan, the other key initiative which was rolled out was Raktadan. 2013 was the first year we initiated the blood drive campaign across the country with the primary objective of raising awareness and more importantly, making a small but focused effort in helping the Red Cross refill the depleting supplies. Giving is part of our tradition and we plan to continue doing so by making it part of our DNA. One of the most important feedback we received was the, from the voice of community was related to the issue of addressing matrimonial alliances. As mentioned last evening, with a tremendous help from India, from Sushil Naval, Pradeep Tapadia, from part of my NEC, Ashish Taka chapter president, and support from other team members, I'm pleased to inform you that our very own matrimonial website was officially launched during May earlier this year, and we plan to have two separate breakout sessions, one later this afternoon and another one tomorrow to address this critical and demanding lead. One of the other key initiatives of MMNA since its inception has been actively promoting and pursuing the cause of supporting needy students by providing educational loans, scholarships, and assisting students in different ways, such as networking within the community, mentoring, internship, job searches. Since its inception in April 1987, MMNA has granted loan scholarships of over 120,000, supporting 100 plus Rajasthani students. 
The Education Committee under the leadership of Vikas Bhutra and supported by Ashwin Sabu has approved and dispersed loans of about 47,000 to 18 needy students between 2013 to date. Furthermore, Vikas and Ashwin have been also been working on recovery funds from past beneficiaries who are gainfully employed and are now have the capability to repay. It is very rewarding when one of the loan recipients come forward to not only repay the loan, but also donate to the education fund. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give a big round of applause to Rohan Karwa for donating $2,000 from his first paycheck to the education fund and expressing an interest to be part of the education committee to help serve the needs of other students. Thank you, Rohan. Looking forward to working with you as part of the education committee. From a website standpoint, Pradeep Tapadia has spent a significant amount of time in helping enhance the features, including posting national news and more importantly, giving access to chapter presidents. Moving forward, some of the other key initiatives which we would like to work on are revamping our website, working with Race into performing a professional link on LinkedIn, solicit lead volunteers to head the project of One Prastha, Home for the Ages and Retirees, further strengthen our relationships with ABMM. I believe in transparency and open communication, hence initiated a monthly chapter president and NEC meeting and a quarterly BOD NEC meeting. In addition to this, I send out my quarterly newsletter which updates the community of all the key activities being done across all the chapters. Convention planning takes a lot of effort and countless hours of volunteering. This hard work has been paid off with the overwhelming response, thanks to the efforts of Poonam, Vikas, co-convener Mahesh, Amit, Shyam Maheshwari, Keshalal Rati, and Mukul Rati. My special thanks and gratitude to all of them. This convention, as Poonam had mentioned, has many firsts. First to go green, first to have 600 plus confirmed attendees three months in advance, now being a sold out event. First to raise significant sponsorships three months in advance. First to have an app application available both on Android and Apple platform. And this was designed by our very own young volunteers from the community, Anurag and Ankita Maheshwari, Abhishek and Shruti Soni. Thank you very much. Make sure you get a patent on this because it's going to be a copyright and there'll be many people after this. What a cool feature you have done. So thank you very much for it. In conclusion, these conventions, in my humble opinion, though a lot of work, are energizer shots, which not only mobilize, but also rally the entire community to go back to their individual chapters and truly make a difference. After the 2012 LA convention, Yash was already asking me when the next convention is being planned for. And I could see he was already networking with his new friends he had made. This is the kind of contagiousness I would like to see. Have the excitement drive and passion spread from one person to the other to make a difference in the community and where we live. There are a lot of initiatives to work on, just need more volunteers to not only come forward, but lead the projects. In conclusion, also I would like to thank my wife, Namrata Bajaj, my children Yash and Anand for their unconditional support during this past year and a half. I'm taking the liberty to take a quote from our late president, John F. Kennedy, during his inaugural speech and lead you with this thought. As JFK had said, ask not what the country can do for you, but what you can do for the country. And so I leave with you with this. Ask not what the community can do for you, but what you can do for the community. I hope you enjoy the convention as much as we are enjoying hosting you. Jai Mahesh, Jai Hind and God bless America.